Burned-up vehicle owned by Dr. Anthony Garcia matches testimony described by witnesses in the 2008 Dundee murders and uh, Garcia accused of killing four people. He's on trial. Our Aaron Murray keeping track of everything going on each day. Who gave this testimony, Aaron? The state called a woman from the Louisiana Motor Vehicle Office to testify about this document. Now, it's a vehicle registration belonging to Garcia. See here, it's for a 2000 Honda CRV, silver in color. Now, this is important because on the second day of the trial, three people testified they saw a suspicious person driving a silver Honda CRV in the Dundee neighborhood on the day of the 2008 murders. Now, the defense asking the woman if she knew how many 2000 silver Honda CRVs there are in North America, hinting that it's a common vehicle. She said she did not know. Now, also today, there was this wing stop receipt shown in court. Now, this puts Garcia in Omaha on May 12th, 2013. Now, the prosecution argues that the Brumbacks were killed later that day. Now, the defense did not cross examine the wing stop owner. Also today, we heard more from Dr. William Hunter. Now, he testified about two incidents that were big factors in Garcia's termination from the pathology department at Creighton. One he called, quote, the straw that broke the back. That was about a harassment incident. Now, it involved a fourth year pathology resident taking a very important exam. Phone records show Garcia called the man's wife during the exam, saying he was needed at the university when he was not. Now, the defense asked Hunter if Garcia ever showed any physical anger toward him during his time at Creighton. Hunter said no. The defense also questioned Dr. Hunter if he originally suspected another pathology resident in his son's death, to which Hunter replied yes. And then finally, we heard from a forensic technician who said none of the fingerprints found at the murder scenes at either of the homicides matched Dr. Garcia's.